What's going on, Jerome's? The first wave of NFL free agency is in the books, and there's been some big time money getting passed around. And this, this wasn't considered a great free agent class, well, for a myriad of reasons, because there's so many ways for teams to take care of the players uh, that are elite and that they love and are in their prime. So it's actually kind of rare uh, when a player in their prime. Uh, elite at their position gets a free agency, but when they do, they get paid. And even guys who maybe not in their prime, maybe not elite at their position, they still get paid too. That's, that's what happens, man. I love to see it. So just want to walk through some of these contracts and go from there. So trades wise, uh, so no move on Lamar Jackson as of yet. Rodgers, their Packers are dragging their heels. Oh, but they have all the leverage. What do they got to do? Uh, they have uh, Rodgers and his ass show up and pay him sixty million bucks, and Jordan Love is still there. No. Ain't gonna happen. So they gotta figure something out. Uh, and also, Darren Waller was traded from the uh, Raiders to the Giants. And the whole drama around is like, what was he really miss uh, a malcontent because McDaniel's leaked accidentally details about his wedding at the combine? That's what happening. It's like TMZ stuff. Anyways, uh, so major contracts: uh, Derek Carr and Jimmy G. Uh, Derek Carr, who's cut by the Raiders. Hey, remember last offseason when uh, Devonta Adams was traded to the Raiders and they're like, hey, reunited Fresno State style and Derek Carr's a Hall of Famer. Now, not so much, but uh, uh, the Saints re- uh, the Saints signed Derek Carr $37.5 million per year. Okay, sure. Uh, and then the Raiders, tied up in everything, uh, sign, sign up Jimmy G. Now, Jimmy G is a perfectly fine game manager, but that's all that he is, right? I, I understand that the Niners went to a Super Bowl. Kirk Cousins would have won that Super Bowl. 100%. Uh, and then non-quarterbacks, uh, Javon Hargrave going to the Niners. That is gross. That is disgusting. Him and Bosa and Eric Armstead, let's go. Let's go. $21 million bucks per year speaks to how much uh, the uh, defensive interior is being valued. Also, he's 30 years old. This is his second big contract. Because remember, he started in Pittsburgh. He went to Philly. And then now he's with the Niners. It's amazing, man. Also, what's amazing is this right tackle money. So, Jawan Taylor, four for 80 uh, with the Chiefs. Uh, Mike McGlinchey uh, getting five for 87 and a half with the Broncos. Broncos spending a big, by the way. Also, Caleb McGarry uh, got paid, too. Uh, so he's getting eleven and a half million per year, a L- little bit less. Uh, but of course, uh, the Falcons brought him back, not hitting the open market. Uh, and also, you know, Orlando Brown Jr. Uh, uh, speaking of right tackles, playing left tackle, uh, but he gets the highest guarant- uh, signing bonus ever uh, for a uh, offensive tackle from the Bengals. And now Jonah Williams requesting a trade. It's kind of funny, man. Tremaine Edmonds, I would like to see him in purple, but he goes to the Bears, four years, seventy-two million. Uh, he got himself paid respect there. Uh, Draymond Jones going from uh, Denver to Seattle, uh, getting himself seventeen point one and change. Uh, Jesse Bates, uh, star safety for the Bengals, going to Atlanta. Uh, Zach Allen, Denver. Man, De- Denver racked up and stacked up everyone. Let- let's sort by that. Let's go from there, man. All right, so. I see big winners in free agency. I think Atlanta did a good job of taking care of their own. Uh, so, well, not only that, but they also brought in Jeremy Bates. They brought in An- Anyata, uh, Anyamada from the Saints following uh, their defensive coordinator. But they took care of McGarry. They took care of they took care of another one of their offensive linemen too, didn't they? Oh, 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 uh, Lindstrom, but he wasn't going to be a free agent. Uh, Taylor Heineke is brought in uh, to compete with Desmond Ritter for their starting quarterback job. That's hilarious, man. Uh, then, let's see, Buffalo, McGovern, Porter, sure, 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 sure. Uh, Carolina, I thought did some good things, bringing Miles Sanders as a running back one. They lost Devontae Smith. Uh, not Devontae Smith. Uh, Devonta Foreman. Uh, kept Bradley Bozeman. <laughs> Andy Dalton. Oh, man, I love it. But, man, Chicago did work, and rightfully so, because they had all the cap space in the world. But they signed Nate Davis. They signed Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, Demarcus Walker is in the house. Um, TJ Edwards, uh, starting linebacker, is go- going to be a factor as well. And it's kind of funny, man. It's kind of funny. Oh, oh yeah, they, signed, uh, they traded for DJ Moore, and also they, they signed PJ Walker. So fi- about time they have a quarterback one in Chicago. Oh, also got Robert Tanyan. It, it's crazy how much play, how, how many players just circulate uh, amongst a division. 
It's kind of funny, man. Uh, see Cleveland, Dallas. Da, da, da. Yeah, Denver spending up big time because I mean they're pissed off. They they don't want another uh, Russell Wilson down season. So Ben Powers uh, coming from the Ravens, absolute stud. Zach Allen, their defensive interior guy. So yeah, they didn't want to resign Draymond, but they decided to pay um, Zach Allen. Okay. Uh, Singleton, Stidham from the Raiders. Samaji Piran is going to be a nice uh, running back, too, with Javante Williams. Hopefully his, he's healthy and good to go. Ah, that's a big uh, – Cameron Sutton, that, that's a nice uh, contract there for Detroit. Brought back Graham Glasgow. It's kind of crazy. All right, so, sorting by average again. Going through Jason Kelsey's coming back. Diesel Dalvin Tomlinson went to the Browns. Jamel Dean ran, running back with the Bucks. Uh, they could be losing Sean Murphy Bunting. Mm -hmm. Davenport allegedly allegedly signing with the Vikings. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, the Eagles keep uh, Bradbury. The Eagles actually ran it back with a number of veterans, so they re reworked Darius Slay, giving him like twenty million bucks a year. Jason Kelsey is back, top tier center money, uh, as well as they kept Fletcher Cox for ten million. It's kind of funny. Uh, Jets, uh, so they paid Alan Lazard, and they're going after basically all of Rodgers' friends, uh, Mercedes Lewis, Randall Cobb, et cetera. Maybe they tried to land OBJ, where it's like, does Rodgers realize that they have Garrett Wilson on the roster? It's kind of crazy. Uh, Jacoby Myers going from the Patriots to the uh, Patriots to the Raiders. Now, what's interesting is that – so. Myers could have been back in New England because they paid the exact same contract, 3 for 33 to Juju Smith-Schuster, but they're just like, nah. Don't need him back. Jonathan Jones re-signed with the Patriots. Larry Ogunjobi uh, is doing the damn thing again uh, with the with, with the Steelers. Uh, Andre Dillard, who was a first-round pick, had first-round talent coming out of Washington State. Uh, he goes from Philly to Tennessee uh, looking to replace Taylor Lewan. Byron Murphy, come on down. Come on down, man. That's right. Uh, to the Minnesota Fine Vikings. Love to see it. Uh, let's see, Wiley signed with the Commies. Uh, Jacoby Jabroni Brisket is with the Commies. Robert Woods is with the Texans now. Hayden Hurst. A everyone keeps telling me about, hey, Hayden Hurst has got all this potential, but he's been passed around like a bad penny. Happens. Uh, also, it's confusing that both interior linemen, Connor McGovern's, were free agents this year. <laughs> uh, but the guard, Connor McGovern, goes from the Cowboys to the uh, Bills for a decent chunk of money. Uh, Thornhill goes from KC to Cleveland. Uh, he was a straw that serves a drink on the back end of that defense. Heineke, we mentioned. Patrick Peterson, P squared, uh, going to the Steel City. Jermaine Pratt staying put. Our guy, Eric Kendricks, getting some decent change from his hometown, LA Chargers. See Jimmy Ward going to Houston, following D'Amico Ryans. Miles Sanders, uh, like we mentioned, going to Carolina. Feels like Carolina. Ooh, David Montgomery uh, going up to Detroit. And then Jamal Williams going down to the Saints. Like to see that. Uh, Mar the Mar marvelous Marcus Epps, the pride of uh, Wyoming, a former six round pick by the Vikings, started for Philly for a number of seasons. He goes to the Raiders. The Raiders. It's fun, man. Like, there are so many moves and transactions. Bradbury's uh, getting a run back. Jaron Reed going uh, to Seattle. It's just kind of crazy, man. Right. Nathan Shepard going to. Ah, oh, man. Nathan Shepard going to the Saints. Wouldn't have minded him at all. Uh, but just all this movement, like uh, Mariota going to Philly to back up uh, Jalen Hurts. Remember in the Jameis and the Mariota draft, there's talk because Chip Kelly was in Philly, and obviously he coached Mariota at, at Oregon. There's talk that they would trade four first-round picks to go get him at two. Didn't quite work out. Uh, Riley Reef going from the Bears. You know that Riley Reef played on the Bears last year? Hmm. Uh, but he goes to the Patriots. Patriot way. Uh, Paris Campbell. Uh, if he can stay healthy, he can be a stud. Goes to the Giants, uh, who, I mean, Giants spent some decent money out there. Jamal Williams, like we mentioned. Sam Darnold, trying to resurrect their career. Maybe he can be the caretaker if Trey Lance isn't the guy. And uh, as a wait for, uh, you know, uh, the jabroni to get over UCL surgery. Yeah, Brock Purdy. Uh, Herbie goes to Van Der Esch. And the, the off-ball linebacker market is sort of not great right now. Baker going to Tampa Bay. Just trying to hold on for one more day. Madison back in Minnesota. I love to see that. Case Keenum. Keenum going back to Texas. Houston where it all belong. Uh, let's see. Available, guys. So basically, we're just waiting on OBJ, right? <laughs> Thielen's out there. I updated this, correct? There you go. Zoom in and enhance. Free agents still available. There's some notable names. So Carson Wentz out there floating. Uh, would he accept a backup quarterback job, or is he just done? 
Who knows? Matt Ryan's washed. Kenny Galladay, which may be one of the worst free agent contracts in NFL history recently. Uh, him going from the Lions to the Giants. He's floating out there. Bud Dupree, a former stud. Byron Jones seems like he was retiring. Thielen still gauging the market. Uh, rumors of KC. Also, he visited the Panthers. Taylor Luan probably retired. Yeah. Uh, let's see Donovan Smith out there floating. Frank Clark. Zeke Elliott, who was cut by the Cowboys. Maybe he ends up in Buffalo. Tom Brady they're not ready to give up on yet. Uh, Robbie Chosen Anderson, JJ's retired. Marcus Peters is still out there. Robert Quinn is still out there. Hmm. Yannick the freaking Gakwe out there just chilling. John Johnson, take Tom at Thompson. Uh, Dalton Schultz, whose franchise tag last year, is out there just gauging the market. Probably not a good time to try and sign a tight end free agent deal when it's the, the greatest tight end class in NFL draft history. Uh, let's see Hudson, Ronnie Char- or DJ Chark. Our guy out there, Clown Shoes, the former number one overall pick. Bobby Wagner picking and choosing his spots. Uh, maybe he returns to Seattle for a year. Uh, the other Connor McGovern, the center, which I don't know, the Vikings are probably out on since they resigned Bradbury. Uh, but there, there's some notable names uh, still out there in free agency. Miles Jack just got cut by the Steelers the other day. Ben Jones, I think, still has some tread on the tire. Teddy Bridgewater would be a decent bridge quarterback wherever he lands, pun intended. Calais Campbell got cut. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's going to be a number of guys that do have some talent and they're still out there because you know, that, that's what happens, too. And it's usually the teams that succeed and are good at gauging player value in the second and third and fourth wave of free agency. Uh, so, I mean, the, these guys will find homes, uh, but it is kind of crazy the money that's been flying around uh, as of late. But, you know, the, the wide receiver market has been sort of tepid, but the right tackle market has been huge. The defensive interior market has been huge, uh, as always. So some crazy money flying around, and you do love to see it. Love this time of year. But that's it. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. NFL free agency recap so far. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more to work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull production value.